The Taraba State celebrated White Cane Day 2024, highlighting the empowerment and inclusion of the visually impaired. Dr. Felista Iririman Musa, Commissioner for Social Justice and Reintegration, emphasized solidarity and proactive support. Governor Kefa's Deputy Chief of Staff, Deputy Chief of uh, reaffirmed the administration's commitment to policy reforms and resources, promoting unity among Taraba's leaders and citizens. The governor is disability friendly. Since he came on board, he was able to approve for the celebration of White Cane Day every year. Last year we did, this year again we're doing it. And we were told before we came on board that in Taraba it had never been celebrated. So we give kudos to the governor of Taraba State of Tabukepas for making the visually impaired persons his friends. They are always very happy when they see us celebrating the White Kingdom. It's a day that they feel they are a part of the society. It's a day they feel the government has recognized us. It's a day they now feel, ah, the governor has pampered us. He gives them gifts of White Kingdom every year. This year we did the same thing. Oh, the blind are so happy. From the speeches they gave, you know they are happy with what His Excellency has been doing for them in the state. You could see that we unveil the white cane for them, about a hundred pieces. And this is just the beginning. The His Excellency will supply more, and not only that, he had already promised to provide jobs for them, and he has started doing that. I want to plead with His Excellency Dr. Abu Kefas the executive governor of our, our dear state, the lover of person with disability, to please create employment opportunity for the blind. We have thousands of the blind in Taraba State that are unemployed. And this is a very challenge to many of our people where you see them go to churches, mosques, on the street to look for means of survival. And when we have a governor that is capable to engage us in employment, as you can see, our people are talented, they have the skills, they can also contribute their quota to the growth and development of our state. We have students in our tertiary institution. We are pleading with the state governor, as he has declared the uh, free education for primary and secondary. Please, we are pleading for free education in both our tertiary institution in the state, and also to provide scholarship opportunity for our members that are schooling in tertiary institutions outside the state. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.